Well, targets to the max. Let's play three. When you gave people, we're on. Uh, listen, uh, did you want to do a seven question game or a 21 Let's do all three 21s. Football at the post. Okay, right, throw down on, your gloves. Me. It's hard to play that position while standing in the hot corner. This one's gonna be. It's hard to play that position while standing in the corner. Okay, shouldn't be too tough. This question's gonna be worth a grand. Hang on tight. Here we go. It's important to train early for a spit. major league pitcher, Gaylord Perry, admitted to throwing spitballs. Well, it was actually called Vaseline ball, actually. You know, I bet some teacher told Gaylord he'd never get anywhere behaving like that. And 20 years later, he came back and laughed his ass off. Ball of Famer guy. Look at this time. Suddenly, okay, Rapping doesn't seem so worth it. The wildlife of Oz. Here's the category. <laughs> Suddenly, Robin doesn't seem so worthless. And we'll pay out $3,000 for this one. Okay, this one's a little tricky. Let's see how well you remember your superheroes. Apache Chief is to the Adam as whom is to whom. Manute Bull is to Muggsy Bogues. Bill Lambert is to the Joker. Michael Adams is to the Apache Chief grew really big. The Adam got really small. And Manute and Muggsy were at one time the tallest and shortest men in the NBA. 7-6 Manute Bull and 5-3 Muggsy Bogues. Both Bogues. of them were much more interesting to watch than Apache Chief. Okay. Dick Nupo. Cushy Gunners Sports. PC Football. Three. All right, let's see what we're doing here. <laughs> PC football. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Wipe off your finger and get it ready. Let's get busy. If author Alex Haley decided to write a book Bostonian. about football, before they moved to Washington, Boston was the home of the Redskins. Did you actually notice the Braves, their first and 40, changed to the Redskins? Redskins. It's good to see the yes, Redskins I know I'm breaking all the kayfabe in a war for tuna, but deal with it. Cap the host by its boss. Sigma it? Sigma Sigma. Jack in the USSR. Oh. The category is Jack in the USSR. Okay, this might be a toughie. It's worth 3,000 bucks. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. Imagine you were a Russian citizen in 1976. If you were participating in the Ready for Work and the Defense of the USSR sports program, in which of these sports would you be able to participate? Hammer and sickle combat, grenade throwing, Cossack wrestling, or javelin catch and deflect? I would say... Cossack wrestling. Just because I'm gonna go for it. A bunch of priests wrestling in those dress-like get-ups? That's unheard of. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I get that confused with Cossack wrestling. Oh. And let's see the Grenade correct throwing. answer. Ah! Grenade tossing was actually a sport, along with marching, skiing, and running. Though for some reason, grenade catching never caught on. I got it! I got it! Yeah, unless you caught it very good at good point. Wouldn't it be easier if the right one? Goose heart. The last humble athlete. Here, mm -hmm. It's a special fact. Thank you. Here's your category. The last humble athlete. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. All right, let's get this ball rolling. Which one of the following negative sounding names is not the name of a horse that won the Kentucky Derby? Grandma's shame, shutout, regret, or genuine risk? Horse racing is really not one of my shots. How long do I know the triple crown one of that time? I would guess one. You know what you could have picked? You could have picked this. Grandma's shame is not the name of a derby winner. Actually, that's my family's name for grandpa. Yeah. Heads or tails, you win. Cut a push. Hooks and juicy. And a bomb oh, performance. It makes, makes me six. six. And the category is... Heads or tails, you win. Right here, 1000 bucks for a right answer. Okay, suppose you decide to make yourself a nice, fresh cheerleader salad. Because it's the name of an officially recognized cheerleading toss, which technique should you use to toss your cheerleader salad? Cradle toss, banana split toss, salad toss, or Taiwan basket toss? I know the girl toss. The cradle toss is a move recognized as a legal toss. Yeah. I this pepper I still have ice, I still remember those. And for your salad dressing, I suggest using a little olive oil on your cheerleaders. That'll spruce up any salad. Skin agents can't oh, dump. Still beats golf. Be I feel a little rosy. Tag team naked skydiving tonight, tonight at seven. seven. So it looks like Jeff's question will be the question, question is Scandinavians can't dunk. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. If during their heyday, the pop group ABBA had invited ABA basketball stars to West. sing with them, Jerry West never played in the ABA. <laughs> but if Jerry joined the band, do you think they'd rename themselves Jabba? Yeah. I'll give you a simple cry about okay, Argentina. Silly Holly, the oral sex question. 
Uh-oh, test nuts lit crime store. I think I might note this one first. It's time for a nigger glitch restroom. <laughs> All right, now here's your category for this gibberish question. I'll give you something to cry about, Argentina. The opening value is 5,000 clammies. Now you're going to have about 30 seconds okay. to solve this puzzle, but I'll be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. <laughs> okay, tell me what movie title does this rhyme with? A League of Their Own. You think you got it? Okay, which car should I deliver? I feel like I got hit head by a horse. My three stars. Take your mark, huh? set, no. Whoops. And the category is... I didn't know the gun could fire up without command. And there's a thousand dollars riding on this one. Imagine this hilarious episode of My Three Sons. The Douglases form a baseball team to play in the father and son and son and son. Uncle. Another name for a curveball is Uncle Charlie. <laughs> And another name for Uncle Charlie is who's this strange old man who's come to live with us? Out of my kitchen, you mugs. <laughs> Where's the intro teacher? Right, What's come wrong on, with David Nose? My pot's a little tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The category. Pass count, please. What's wrong with Davy Jones? I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. On your marks, get That's set, it. here's the yes, question. Doctor. If Pro Football Hall of Famer Deacon Jones sack. replaced Deacon Jones invented the term sack, which is when the quarterback is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. <laughs> and there's no truth to that rumor that he thought up the name in the shower. All right, that's 10 questions down. For 10 more, let's go on to round two. All right, we're in round two now, so all the questions are gonna be worth double the money. Got it? Great, let's go. Okay. Every good boy deserves a punch. Time. If I had a nipple, be? why am I doing this again? The category is if I had a nickel, six thousand okay. dollars is riding on this one. All right, pay attention. Here comes the question. If you had a nickel for each time one of the following events occurred, which would make you the most money? Billy Martin fired. Seven. Nolan Ryan pitched seven no hitters during his career. <laughs> And that five, gives you 35 cents. Three, five of Billy Martin, three of Pete Rose, none for anything. So I even play after Jerks for him. Does Pat wear a Jack Strap or a sports car? Quit calling him Pookie. Let's see. Ooh, it looks so funny. The name of this category is. Road trip! And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Okay, hang tight, put your finger on your buzzer, here's the question. If Prince William and his buddies from Eton crashed a party at the fancy schmancy British school after which a sport is named, where would they be? Soccer preparatory, cricket yard, rugby school, or lacrosse academy? No rugby's a city. I would guess rugby school, but I know rugby's a city. Let's take a look at the big money answer. The rugby school is where rugby was invented in 1840. So like, if you're a prince, where's your crowd? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Keep on your side, Captain. How about Hold on, Ninja. Wow, a talking bear. The thrill of victory, the yeah, agony yeah, of 13. 13. And this category is, keep it under your salary cap. You get this question right, you pocket six grand. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. If the NBA hired Super Agent David Falk to be their secret agent and spy on the players he represented during the 96 offseason, which of the following would you not catch him doing? Tapping Shaquille O'Neal's phones, going through Michael Jordan's garbage, disguising himself as Alonzo Morning's butler, or taking infrared photos of Jordan. I can't call Zoe being part of Falk. No, but who was that disguised as Alonzo Morning during the 96 playoffs? He sucked. Was John Howard? Should have picked this. Mr. Falk did not represent Shaq during the 96 free agent free-for-all. Yeah, he would never let Shaq make that damn genie movie. What was it? Kablooey? Yeah. I think it's that the server is okay, done. The deep of Hector which she really should be nice to her. Uh-oh, press futs Take makes two. crime board. Once again, it's time for a ticklish test go. This gibberish questions category is... Donna, the thief of hefty Norwegians. And if you're really fast, you can get up to 10,000 bucks for this gibberish question. Okay. 
All right, to solve this puzzle, you got to think fast, because every second and a half, I'm ticking off a little bit of cash. All righty, tell me, what common sports saying does this rhyme with? Now, don't let the punctuation fool you. Okay. Please, Donna, steal fat Inga Bjorning. Please, Donna, steal fat Inga Bjorning. Here's your first hint. You'd hear this after a big hit. Or you'd hear it after a big night of drinking. Sound like a familiar situation? He'll be sore tomorrow. Hurry up or you're gonna be hurting too. Take it. Oh, what a hit. Please Donna steal fat Inga Bjorning. Oh, he's gonna flip down them. Yeah, that's too bad. There are a lot of better things to feel in the morning. If you know what I mean. I'm so in my jersey. Oh, Why you bug? At the sound of dinner bell. It's question 15. It's question 15. All right, let's see what we're doing here. I'm still wearing my jersey. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. Wipe off your finger and get it ready. Let's get busy. If all the retired jerseys in the NBA were still being worn by their respective owners, who would be hanging from their stadium's rafters? Three. The, the Sacramento Kings have retired number six in honor of their sixth man, the fans. <laughs> so all their fans would be hanging from the rafters. That's got to be dozens of people. Yeah. The thing's girl thought. All right, come on. Hit me. Shall we get a category? And the category is... Thou shalt not clip thine opponent. And I'll pay you $4,000 if you get this one right. So, you feeling anxious? Me too. Let's go. Which of the following schools is not shown with its proper nickname? Rice University Angry Apostles, Ohio Wesleyan Battling Bishops, Earlham College Hustling Quakers, or Stanford Cardinal? Stanford Cardinal is, but... Dean Christ is different. Rice University is just the owls. <laughs> I'd be afraid to root for the angry apostles, though. I bet they'd always be betraying me. Eh. No staff is a bad hurry. Slug What's it gonna be? We'll see who scratch them. What a slug. Slug and slug. Here's your category. Slug nightmares. Okay, swing this one and I'll give you 2,000 bucks. Ready on the trigger? Pull. You grab the kids, load up the minivan, and head out. Nice you and your loved ones will be setting land speed records. The salt flats are a smooth 12-mile stretch, perfect for pushing that minivan to the limit. I believe the most recent one, which was the Thrust SSC, was actually in Nevada, actually. Dad, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, Billy, why didn't you say something before we broke the sound barrier? Foul down. Honey, How can we get this it? on tape? It's pink. You can put things in it. How many holes? Oh, Oops. Here's the category. Honey, can we get this on tape? It's gonna be worth $4,000. Okay, imagine you and a date are watching the telecast of the November 18th, 1968 AFL game between the New York Jets and the Oakland Raiders. Suddenly, your date ends the way the telecast did. What happened? The game was preempted with two minutes to go to show the movie Heidi. Get the Heidi game with Miss Lee. When this happens on TV, thousands of people get angry. When this happens That's because angry because Oakland won by 11. It said Jets and referee. Phil Trout people, oh, rodents with big teeth, all the time with the hands to the floor. Illegal use of the hands on question 19. The category is field trial fever. And this is $4,000 here. Everything in place? Because here she comes. If the creators of Dance Fever replace their celebrity guest panel with judges from the sport of field trials, what could disco dancers do to attain higher scores? Shoot arrows at moving targets, point at wild game birds, run a barefoot cross-country race, or beat each other with wooden clubs? Field trials. Let's say shooting arrows at moving targets will only be a guess. Too bad you didn't pick this. The sport of field trials involves hunting dogs tracking and pointing at wild birds. And disco dancers already know how to point, right? Yeah. Do you believe in magic? Okay, when celebration parts, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's an Olympic athlete. Last question for the this game, one's not counting, not question for the game, not counting the jackpot. And this one's gonna be worth okay. $2,000.
All right, get yourself set. It's time. Let's say that the current NBA champions get the crazy idea to take apart the Larry O'Brien trophy and play basketball with the pieces. What immediate problem will they have? The trophy is impossible to disassemble. The little ball won't fit through the basket. There is no basketball in the trophy or the trophy doesn't really exist. I would say one. Only be a guess. Take this to the Jack Attack, please. And here's the right answer. On the trophy, the basketball's diameter is larger than the hoop's rim, so the ball won't fit through the basket. Of course, Chris Dudley's been using that excuse for years. Okay. Remember the USFL? My fans come. Where are you from? I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna test my United States football league knowledge here. So, basically about former team names of the United States football league team, so... White Table, The Express, The Stars. You're revved up because yes. you got a jack attack. Okay. Focus for me. See? Here's your clue. Okay. Remember the USFL? Hope you can remember how to press a buzzer. Let the attack begin. New Jersey, that'd be the uh, Generals, I believe. Yep. Los Angeles, that'd be the Old Express. Okay, I hope it's good. Chicago Blitz. Okay, number four. Oakland, that'd be the, uh, who else, the Marauders? Uh, Oakland Invaders, I was thinking that. Yes. Number five. Denver Gold. How can I not forget about Denver Gold for some reason? Okay, number six. Birmingham, that be the, uh, Stallions. Seventh and final. Pittsburgh, that be the, uh, Maulers. Thanks a lot, Eddie's part of do your dad. Damn, you kicked some ass in that jack attack. Let's check out your score. 42, man. I will take game. that as well. Performance like this one, you deserve to have your own star on the sports trivia walk of fame. And I promise you, if you ever get that star, I'll be the first one to step on it because you don't know Jack. Um, okay. Wait, everybody, can we thanks for watching this triple header.